torpedo spotted. Make a life for myself. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm getting... Yeah, 
Damn, money's nice. Oh, so far, I'm really doing you dirty here. Oh my god. I'm doing it with you so dirty. I feel so bad so far. I really do. I just rammed into the wall to dodge his stuff. Oh no. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Bob Lue, and welcome back to Cruises of Blitz. Today, we're taking a look at, <laughs> although I'm sad to say this, this is probably one of my favorite ships right now, and it will continue to be, since this is an ambush predator. The Austin features 12 127mm guns, and you get SAP and instead of AP. So you have SAP and HE. Along with that, you get a bunch of consumables, great AA, and great torpedoes as well. These are Fletcher torpedoes, and you um, they have a 9 nine kilometer range, so they're very good against BBs. Other than that, you get some sonar, and when you don't have your rapid reload up, this ship can be pretty rough to play, but I'm going to show you guys how to do it. All right, so for the elite bonus, I chose elite gun operator just because, I mean, it's a gunboat, right? It's a light cruiser, so you don't... And you have good AA. For the camo, you have two camos. I have both of them, but I prefer the historical one. You know, the difference is large caliber AA range or torpedo range. And I just prefer torpedo range in that regard. You still get surface detection. And surface detection is vitally important for this ship. As you can see, I have it in my supplies and in my equipment. In my opinion, if you want to succeed in this ship and as an ambush predator, you need surface detection. And then I run reload and propulsion. I think reload is very important too, since you know this ship does not fire fast without its rapid reload. And the reason I took Halsey, and you can see my build in the montage and here, is because of Madbull. Because Madbull is insane. And why would I put it on Austin, you might ask? Because I used to have it on my Des Moines, and it, he works fine on there. Well, to be honest, I think it's better on an Austin or a light cruiser in general, because you just do, you do get to low HP pretty quick. And, you know, one shot from a Vermont can get you from 100% to 10% in no time. You know, just one shot, right? And I know armor mechanics are not as big in this game, or there's no armor mechanics like in the PC game, but you are pretty well armored for a light cruiser. As many as you can see, this is an Atlanta hull, um, but it does have 32 millimeter. So you actually, in Blitz, it just means you eat more damage, <laughs> really. Um, it's harder for ships to overpen you. But as you can see, we have two emergency fuel smokes, which is the one from the Italian DDs. And then we have, in my build, because I took uh, the skill that gives you an extra rapid reload, I have five rapid reload four. And here you're going to see the AA demonstration. The AA on Austin is very good when you use your DFAA. And I have it specced into it, remember. You see, we're, we're, we're knocking down some planes, but it's not Worcester level, it's not Holland level, it's, uh, it's good. It's just not the best. If you don't have your DFAA, which you probably won't since you have a ton, um, I believe you get four off the bat without a commander. So you'll be fine in that department. And then you get some sonar as well. Which, so this thing is just very well equipped. Um, and that's what I like about it. It does bring some support. But I told you guys this is an ambush predator. And my surface detection is very low. So that's how I'm able to do this and play it like an ambush Enemy predator. I only engage whenever I have my rapid reload up. If I do engage without my rapid reload, because then you wouldn't be able to do much, is when I know a ship, you know, is at a disadvantageous position, juxtaposition to me, right? Um, for example, this Preussen here, he's going to be eating most of the damage from these two BBs, and I can safely farm without, you know, using my rapid reload. And these are the kind of situations you need to be in. Because you want to set somebody on fire so they damage con. Because your sap against the BB, you know, you might as well just be blowing in some, you know, blow bubbles, I don't know. Uh, it, it does no damage to the sap. You have to be extremely precise, and to be that with an American cruiser, you need to be close. 
because these shells are very, very uh, floaty, I guess you can say. So this game here, I haven't really talked about it. It's a, it's a great game, big damage. Uh, you know me, I need to have those big damage games. So we have a Zovetsky Zoyus pushing in. And I love that because why would you push into an, an American light cruiser? And there we get our fire. So the fire chance is not high, um, but it, it doesn't matter. You know, you just have so many shells with rapid reload for, as you will see just in a second, because he did damage con. Very dumb, very dumb of him. I'm not even sure we get a fire, but just look at the damage and the amount of shells. It's pretty good. And if you do go get those triple fires and a flood, maybe, well, then they're done. So you see, we didn't get any fire, but um, the torpedoes are going to hit, so maybe we'll get a flood. There's another thing in Wargaming, other than the torpedo hitbox. Wargaming, please, fix the Daka ships. I don't know if you noticed, but some of my shells did not even register. They hit the target, I saw the, the, the explosion of the HE shell, but they you know, it didn't register a hit. It's because you shoot so many shells with the Austin that it actually sometimes doesn't register. It, it can't follow up, so please Wargaming, fix that, because you actually lose quite a lot of damage sometimes. Um, some ships just have immunity, and it's not really fair, to be honest, because you are not immune, trust me. So, other than that, the Austin, you know, it's 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 a difficult ship to play. It's not OP, in my opinion. It's, it's not niche either. But you do need to get, it's a different, completely different playstyle from something like an Atlanta, for example, because you're at tier 10. And this thing is pretty much an Atlanta. And things are just bigger here. Things are just far, further away. Um, Vermont, for example. And you only have a 10.87 kilometer range with my build. So you need to get close. All right, so we're launching our torps. And like I said, these are Fletcher torps and they are very nice to have. I mean, you can actually fight pretty much anything if you know how to use the torpedoes. Uh, I'm so, so sorry, Soulfire. I'm sorry I had to do that dirty move because that, that was just some cheesy ramming into the island. But in a situation like that, I would not have gotten him if I did not have my torps. You saw those a full salvo of Fletcher torps still hurts. It's not a Shimakaze, but it hurts. So this game right here is looking pretty bad. We're kind of scattered, the whole team. And now I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go in and, and win the game. Uh, <laughs> I think I remember this and I was like, we're just gonna win now. I'm just gonna take the CV and take every cap and then leave these guys to fight. Because as you see out there, there's a DD and a battleship. And my destroyer is pretty close to me, so they're just wasting their time out there. And we're gonna take Charlie and we're gonna take Delta. And look who pops out. Hello, Sao. And yeah, I mean, he's, he's one hit away, so. And I miss. Two hits away, and I still miss. Wow. Good good stuff, Bobby. Good, good stuff. There he goes. And now we spot the CV. He was closer than I thought, and I was like, yeah, I'm just going to take the CV instead. So I'm just going to hope for a fire. That's pretty much your formula. You get a target that's not, you know, focusing you if, if it's a BB. Cruisers hurt as well, guys. Be careful. And then you take them out. And I, I mean, I didn't wait for the DCP here. I just wanted to hurt him because it's a, it's a CV, so they, they, they just take damage pretty quickly. Um, but there you see again, no registered hits, and that's really annoying. Though, Jamie. Please fix that. <laughs> it's, it's just it's just sad, you know. But well, anyways, we get a perma fire, and ideally you'd want to play it like that. You want to use your normal guns without rapid reload before you, you know, you want to have a fire on the, the the ship before you use your rapid reload, so you can get perma fires. It's pretty standard, he spammer stuff. But here we got another BB pushing in, and. You know, we're just doing the same formula here. We know he's going to shoot soon, so I'm just going to turn out. Reverse, turn out. Just, you know, the standard formula. But uh, he's not shooting at me, so I'm kind of taking a risk here. Risk here. I'm not looking at my HE. HP, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> but uh, we have Halsey, so yeah, why not? We're just going to go in now. Hope hope to take this guy out. And here we go. Rapid reload. Look at this, guys. It's amazing. This is such a fun ship, and I'm I'm kind of sad it's a premium because I want people to try this. It is really hilarious. Well, look at these hits. Triple perma fire. <laughs> He's just dying. <laughs> it's great. You feel very powerful when you get that rapid reload up. Um, but guys, this is not a strong ship. Like it, 
it has it's it's hard to aim with at long range you can't take out dds with sap uh some of you guys have watched me on live stream and, and i'm horrendous at hitting those dds at range so you ne really need to be close and that's why i think it's an ambush predator you need to wait lie in wait and you know abuse your stealth and your burst all right so here we are with the next game and you know there's a lot, little more kills a little more action in this uh the, the other game was a great demonstration of how you play the austin when you're against a lot of BBs, because BBs are your main problem in the Austin. CVs and destroyers, that's fine. You will manage that great. And other cruisers, you know, that's also great because fine, you can use your smoke and get out of a situation. All right, so we're getting in the game here, and you, you know, there's three DDs on the enemy team, so that's a little more, you know, like the what the Austin wants. You you are great at killing destroyers, and like honestly, I haven't met a DD that stood a chance. The only one I can think of, you know, gun-wise, that would stand a chance is, um, what's this called? The Kleber. I think the Kleber might have a chance with the Rapid Reload as well, because the a AP does hit hard, and you would definitely get a lot of Citadels. But, <laughs> I mean, a Destroyer, even the Kleber, doesn't stand a chance. If you hit your shells, they're done. So it's always a very fun and powerful feeling when you use that, and yeah, that, that's probably why I love this ship. Um, like I said, it's a glass cannon. It eats damage and it puts out damage that that's the term of a glass cannon you know so uh we're gonna approach a here and send out torpedoes because the, this, the direction where the torpedoes are going is usually where there's going to be a battleship or a goliath maybe so what well, I, I pretty much always use he on this ship the only reason time i do use sap is against the destroyer right because the the sap, like I said, it just doesn't pen anything. It's not very consistent. It's not like on PC where the sap is insane and you pretty much have to swap, uh, you know, aim points all the time on a BB because the the it gets saturated so fast. That's a mechanic. But anyways, we got a double fire on the Goliath here, and we can see his sonar ping. So I kind of know where he is, and I'm I'm just gonna keep shooting him. Maybe we get another fire, and we can actually see the guy. Because I would love to use my rapid reload on him, but um, yeah, we, we have to turn back. So um, the Goliath is out now, and we're, we're just gonna we're just gonna get a little bit closer. We're still detected, but he's not focusing on us. And here we go, rapid reload is up, and we're just gonna hammer away. Look at all these shells, Daka 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 Daka. Like this is the Daka ship once you have this re reload. It's it's nuts, and the reason I forgot to mention that actually, the reason that I took Halsey also is because you get an improved adrenaline rush and adrenaline rush is great on a light cruiser because you, your reload is not the fastest without rapid reload and you you kind of lack a luster in that department but um having that you know adrenaline rush up once you do get to, get to low hp it's, it's pretty nice and this goliath here he's almost getting away because actually the hits didn't register on my rapid reload in the end so you know, he, he was immune to my hit, hits and luckily we still get him but you know come on Morgan, you need to to get on top of that there's a lot of bugs in this game and it would be nice to see them fixed instead of you releasing new ships but yeah there's the Jutland even without my rapid reload just look at that sap damage that's a lot of lot of hits that's 12 shells all hitting you and yeah he, he's toast he is toast so the Austin has emergency smoke generator or whatever it's called emergency fuel smoke yeah, I think it's that when do you want to use it well obviously it's not a, gonna be a long smoke but it does cover you for you know a period of time I, I think it's 10 seconds or eight seconds yeah it, it's not a lot it's not a long time guys so don't rely on it to uh, sit still use it to turn out use it to use your torpedoes and use it to you know if you're, you're kind of stuck in, and you, you're not moving, you're just, you know, stationary, you can use it to kind of mask where you're going, if you're going reverse or whatever, and get their aim off. It, it's just going to save you in a pinch. It's not going to be a uh, source of damage, uh, like a normal smoke. All right, so the Palmer, he uh, he took some hits there, and he, he, you know, pretty cleverly got behind the island, but we're just going to push this way now. And here's a Shimakaze. Hello, Mr. Shimakaze. This is not the kind of ship you want to meet in the open. A Shima versus Austin is it, it's a free kill. It's it is a free kill at this range. I don't even have my rapid reload, but look at the damage. <laughs> I love Sap when it's on DDs. It's great. And yeah, he's he's just eating. I'm just reversing and look look at how I'm mirroring my movements to him. When he's going full broadside, I'm trying to get my nose pointed towards him so he can't get his torps off. 
he luckily he didn't launch any, so I was lucky there, but in four seconds our rapid reload is up, and do you think this Palmer's gonna be fine? <laughs> no, I don't think so. So we we should have sap at his bow just to see. Yet yeah, look, two hits, it's not that big damage. When the HE is one hit 175 damage or something like that, it's not worth it to use the sap. Because you also get fires. Okay, 160 on Palmer, but just make the damage. It's just a fountain of numbers. Just look at all. <laughs> I get I get amazed every time I see this. Again, we got unregistered registered hits. It, it just happens a lot on this ship, guys. And you you just have to accept it. Because they, they're not going to fix it for a while. Trust me. So we got four kills and a win. Almost 100k damage again. A pretty good game. And I think these two games right here demonstrate how you want to play Austin. You want to... You have to be close. And you have to... You know, you saw me that the Palmer was going behind the island. I chose to go the other way and sweep the sector to make sure that there wasn't any DDs. And we found the Shimakaze. You really want to be looking at your map in this ship and you really want to be looking at who's aiming at you, just like any other light cruiser, because you will get smashed. So that's pretty much it for the Cruises for Blitz episode on Austin. I really hope you guys enjoy it. I certainly love making videos on this ship and thoroughly enjoy playing it as well. So if you guys want this ship, it was in the Sono Sweep and it is very expensive, but you will guaranteed get it. That's kind of the thing with Sono Sweep. It is just very, very expensive and it, it's a money grab, right? But it is an awesome ship and to be honest, I think it has become probably my most favorite ship right now. The, the, this play style and just the whole meme of the ship is just so much fun. Like I have become the Austin main, guys. Prepare to get austin My name has been Bob Loon, signing out.